Good afternoon, everyone. How are y'all doing? Or oh, I guess it's evening. It is. Yeah, it's like it's after seven. Sorry about that. But we're here, so let's get started. I have a super cute easy card. I don't know if it's easy. I thought it was easy to do for you tonight. Um, yeah, so welcome. So glad you guys are all here. Greatly appreciated. Um, I'm Sharon Davies. I'm an independent stepping up demonstrator here in um, downtown Winnipeg. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be using my favorite bundle, must say, and then that is the, um, the Zany Zoo. So let's just flip this around and we'll just get started. And there we go. Okay. Are we good to go? Oops. What's going on here? Um, I'm going to rotate my phone, flip it around. It's going too fast for it to, tonight. There we go. There we have it. So one of my favorite bundles. Still love the little tortoise or turtle, the singing tortoise or turtle. But today I'm going to, I'm only going to use a sentiment and then I'm going to use the dies to cut out um, one of the little critters. They're so, they're so freaking cute. So I'm going to use, I'm going to just show you the Cruzu designer series paper. So it's a bunch of um, animals doing different things. This, these ones look like they're playing games. They're riding a a um, a bike or a scooter. These guys are dancing. These guys are singing. Frog is is so cute, eh? And then we got some guys that are doing outdoor sports, whether hiking or taking pictures. And then we have some critters doing um well one's one looks like he's painting cooking and then the llama is um is knitting so these are cute and check out the back i don't know if you guys saw the the um video i posted with sarah she went and she showed the back side of this because she loves black and white so and sarah is our ceo of stamping up so and there's black and white that you could use add to it but super cute eh just love it okay so that's that um i'm gonna also be using the lemon lime twist ink for that um what else do i got in this little treasure box i got some vellum some a scrap piece of vellum what else do i have uh oh i don't need that one i have the beautiful balloons I'm just going to just stamp and cut out one balloon on the card, and I'll show you that later. And I also have my my trusted favorite um, stylish sh um, shapes is that I'm going to cut out. And you know what? I'm missing. What am I missing? Oh, I have to need some paper to cut stamp a uh, scrap piece of I have a scrap piece of paper to stamp the balloon out. I guess you guys want to see what I'm doing, right? Okay. So here's the card. Isn't that cute? So cute. Just love it. And then I have my embossing folder, my favorite embossing folders. I wish they'd carry it and come back into stock. But right now they're not. So this is one of the three. You get three um or the the basic 3D embossing folders. So you get three of them. All three come in. And this one is becoming my favorite. You'll see shortly. And then we have this one here. And we have this one here. I love that one too. Well, I love them all. I mean, who am I kidding? I love them all. Okay, so let us get started. So you'll need some vellum. You'll need your card base, which is eight and a half or yeah. Eight and a half. No. Five and a half by eight and a half fold and scored at four and a quarter. You just want to burnish the edges. Just so the card lays flat. And then I have a, a piece of lemon lime twist. And this is four by five and a quarter. And that's going to sit on there like this. And then I have a piece of basic white, which is three and three quarters by five. And that's going to sit on there like that. And then I have some strips or pieces of cardstock. So I have coral calypso. Um, lolly lemon, um, petal pink, 
the Sun Soft Sea Foam, and the Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. This one's already done. So I'm going to trim these back to, is that half an inch? Yeah. I'm going to cut them all down to half an inch. And you want to keep the length on them because what we're going to do is we're going to add them on to our card like that. So you want to make sure your your, your um, card stock, your colored card stock goes over the edges. Okay. So, and this one here is probably five. Yeah, this is five and a quarter. So I cut this off earlier um, off of um, probably a project I was doing. So I'm just going to cut these half an inch. And like I said, I want the length. I do want the length. So what have you guys all been up to? Have you guys been in your gardens yet? So we're just starting. I'm just going to cut this down a bit because this was just a way too long. Um, you guys in your gardens yet? We're still, we haven't got in there yet. Hopefully we'll get in there this weekend. Um, we got our sprinkler system up and running. Yay. And we have the guys that come in and do that for us. Okay. So, and then I have a scrap piece and this is going to be for the sentiment. Oh, there's something on there. Oh, no, it's not. Just a piece of fuzzy. I have a, um, a piece for the sentiment. Okay. I'll we'll just put this to the side. And what we'll do is we'll get everything, we'll get going and get everything on here. So what I'm going to do on the first one here is I'm going to add my soft sea foam. And I'm going to adhere it with with um, some glue, my liquid, my multi-purpose glue, and just, and I'm going to just slide it into place just like that. So, um, and just be careful that you don't, oops, do what I just did and then add glue everywhere. Um, there we go. So there's one strip. And, oh, I got glue on my hands. Ooh, yuck. Okay, and so now the second strip's going to go in. And we're just butted up against that one just like that. And now I didn't take my glue to the very end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just take this and just slide it in. So the glue will get the top piece of that piece there. And then I'm going to take my Coral Calypso. And just again, slide it in. So I'm so excited. I think I have all my stuff prepared for the crop. I'm um, still last minute things to do like shopping and stuff like that. But anyhow, it is what it is. And I'll take my lucky lemonade. I, I'm having a hard time with the new colors. Sorry guys. I. You've had so many colors for so long and all of a sudden they bring some new ones in. And it's just like, oh, I got to remember all these now. And just, and make sure you take it so both pieces are over the edges, okay? You don't have to worry about them being straight up here or down here. Um, we just have to make sure that we get them all on to the, the card base, okay? This one's going to come down like that. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to let this dry. And while we're, wait, let, we're letting it dry, I'm going to bring in my scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to pull out my balloon, my small balloon from the beautiful balloons. And I'm going to bring in my ink. And my block. And just ink this up. And just stamp it right there like that. Okay. And then while I have this out, I'm just going to just bring in this piece right here. And I'm going to bring in, um, let's celebrate. Oh, it fit on there. No, it was. Good. 
something great to celebrate you. My birthday card, graduation card. Yeah, you did something today. Card. And we'll just ink this up. And I'm going to stand up for this one. And. Oh, that's not straight. I'm just going to just move this a bit on my block here. Just like that. Oops. And. Okay, let's try this again. Put it right in the center. Oh, it's not straight. <laughs> Another chance right here. And there we go. Okay, so we got that done, that done. Okay, so let's go hunting for uh, all these guys. Out of, oh, now I'm going to bring out the die for this right here. Cut out my balloon. So this guy will sit. Cut that guy out. And these guys all out of the way. And now we'll bring in the designer series paper. And let's just see if we can find an alligator that's all in one piece. I, I must confess, I ordered um, a whole bunch of this paper. <laughs> no, I do not have a problem. I just, I just love it. I just, it, I don't know if it's the colors or the critters or what. I'm just going to just try and see if I can find a. That yeah, looks like I'm going to have to. Go to a big sheet and see if I can find one. Let's see an alligator right there. I'll just go for this guy right here. And there we are. Let me put all these guys back. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All the way back into my thing. Move this out of the way. So we're going to use this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to just go around and cut him out just like that. Just rough cut. I'm not going to make anybody fussy cut. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to bring in the die that cuts that. Okay. So we have. Uh oh. Where did it go? Looks like I had a lot of it there. So we have the die that cuts out the alligator, we have the balloon. And we have the vellum. And then I'm going to bring in the second largest circle to cut out the vellum. And we're going to use the, um, the specialty vellum. What's it called? Let's just see. Um, oh dear. I had to double check to make sure that it was still available. I didn't want to do something yet. So it's called Vellum Basics. So there's three different designs. There's the polka dots, there's stripes, and then there's leaves on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's on page 133 of your catalog. It doesn't showcase very well in the catalog, but it is a gorgeous piece of vellum. And, uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, let's check to see if this is dry. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to trim back the excess off of, I'm gonna get these guys out of the way. I'm gonna bring my big, my big boss in once. So I'm just gonna just trim the excess off. I'm gonna go to a flat edge. And then trim it down like that. 
And then I'm going to just take it to the flat edge again. And do that. And then, oops, double, doubled over there. And Another, just like that. So now we have our our piece that looks like this. Okay, so let's bring in the big boss. These guys. There we go. So we're gonna do some die cutting first. So what we need is. We need a number one plate, which is our base plate. We need the shim, which is number two. And then we need our number three. It's worn out. So, it doesn't even... yeah. so we need our number three. Put him right here. We're going to bring in our die and our alligator. And I'm going to grab some washi tape just to take that down. And now we're going to bring in the balloon. Move this guy up. I'm just going to just trim this guy back a bit. Oops, they got, he moved. Oh dear. Try this again. Just in place. Just like that. And then we'll bring this guy. We'll put the balloon over top. Like that. Like that. I'm going to keep him in place. And then move this guy up. Dark room. I do. I'm just going to just trim this back a bit. And I'm going to put my circle right there. And we're basically just going to cut all three pieces out all at once and just push that up. So I have my number one, I have my shim, and then I have two number threes. And the die cuts are sitting on the number threes. Just like that. There we go. Push this all the way through. And then we have our vellum. I'm going to put this back in here. My balloon. And then I'm just going to just push this to the side, grab my alligator. So all these critters on the front all have die cuts to cut them out. So we have our alligator, you've already seen that one. They also have, this is for the, um, to do to actually do a, a uh, not a screen, a stage. And then we have a, a nice little, um, I guess, banner to put um, wishes on. We have some flowers. We have some, um, I can use these ones too. Uh, clouds, some balloons. These little ties, these are little ties that go on the curtain. So it shows like it holds the curtain back. And I'm just going to pull these guys out and then I'll show you how they fit on the stamp sets. Then we have a, a vase with some flowers. We have a couple trees. This is a table that the vase sits on. And then we have the scallop to make the scallop for the top of the um, curtain. So it, curtain will look like something like this. So I have a card with that, but I, I have it all um, put on a board for, for the crop. So I can, I'll show you that um, after the crop. So this sits, goes on the llama. This one's on the singing turtles. This is obviously the banner. This is for the raccoon. This one is for the skunk. 
and this one is for oh it's not got the other way wrong way this one's for the skunk this one is for the um i guess a cheetah and then there's the uh alligator and what's the cool about this is that actually these actually cut out the the critters some of the critters on the designer series paper so you gotta love that oops better put this one away too okay so now we've got our big shot our big boss or sorry our big boss out we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this piece here we're going to put it into the embossing folder i'm going to line it up with the line on the bottom and we're going to take everything off the base and just grab our 3D embossing folder uh, plate, which is plate number four. So we're just going to just run this through, make some pretty designs on this paper. So when you're putting your running your embossing folder through, just make sure that the hinge goes through your your machine first. If you don't do that, there's a good chance that you will snap the embossing folder. We can't have that, can we? Okay, let's just put these guys all the way. Oops. Okay, so let's start it to assemble. So we have our card base, we have our Lucky Lemonade, and we're going to apply this onto the Lucky Lemonade just like that. Oh, for some reason this doesn't look three and three quarters by five. So we need to take a half an inch, quarter of an inch off this piece right here. And I'm going to bring in my trimmer for this one. It's just a little bit longer than my little trimmer there. So I'm going to, it should be three and three quarters, which it is by five, which is not. So we'll just turn that back a bit. There we go. So this piece here is going to sit directly on here, just like that. And I'm going to adhere that with uh, my liquid, my multi-purpose glue. And just slide that in just like that. And then just hold it to place. And then this piece gets adhered directly onto the card base and I am gonna glue it down. Using my multi purpose glue. And then slide that in place. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my vellum piece and I'm going to adhere it to the center just like that. Because it's vellum, if you put glue on it or running tape, you're going to see it through. You're going to see the actual adhesive through. So all I'm going to do. And this, and this is um, not as porous as your uh, cardstock, so it will take a little longer to actually um, adhere. So I like to use my glue dots. So I'm going to put a couple glue dots in the center because that's where we're going to be putting the alligator. So it goes on just like that. So you, can you see the glue dots through that right there? So that should hold it in place. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my alligator, grab a couple dimensionals, I seem to misplace my sentiment. I got legs and walked away. I'll just have to stamp a new one. It won't take that long to do. I guess it's in here. I don't think it's in there. No. Okay, and then the alligator is going to go into the center like that. And then with the balloon, I'm going to grab some twine. 
some white line. And I'm just going to just tie it in a bow. Trim these guys back and then grab another glue dot. There it is. And I'm going to just put the glue dot on the base of the balloon and grab another dimensional. How many big ones? No, just small ones. Let's put a couple of the smaller ones on the back side of the balloon. And we'll adhere it onto the card like that. And this is going to misplace my sentiment. That's okay. So here's a Another piece. I'll just oops, ink this up. Oh. My goodness, I shouldn't. Well, I was going to say I've been drinking, but I haven't. There we go. And then. Just cut this back a bit. And cut stuff. And then I'm going to bring in my snips. I'm going to go up the center like that. And like that. And then this piece is going to get it. Here onto the card like that, and I'm going to just use my mini glue dots or dimensional, sorry. And two and three. So super cute card, easy to do. If you you don't need the dies to do it, um, you could actually fussy cut if you're into fussy cutting. I know some of you aren't. But some of you are, like myself, I love plastic cutting. But I did not do that on these cards. I did use the dies on this card. So let's just show you. They're basically the same. Um, this one flips up like this. This one stays like this. They're cute little cards. I love the colors. Really summery. Um, this one's higher. This one's lower. So you can, where you place your strips will determine how the card turns out. So there you have it. So all of the products I used are listed in the description. Um, if you do place an order and you live in Canada, you do place an order, anything over $50 using this post, this postal code, this hostess code will receive a little gift from myself along with a thank you card for your order. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you could like and share my video, I would really appreciate that too. Okay, thanks guys. I'm going to talk to you later. See you on Thursday. Bye.